These are the photovoltaic panels we've had installed here on the roof. There's 14 of them. We chose LG branded ones. We wanted branded ones from an established uh, supplier and manufacturer. They're also reputedly among the most efficient and the most robust. We have some quite high winds here at times and things get flung through the air plus some large hailstones so we wanted robust ones. The panels produce electricity based on light, not heat, and they produce 12 volt direct current. So we need to have an inverter. Here we have an inverter. The total capacity of the panels is about 3.9 kilowatts. This is a little display here and it works if you tap it. There the light comes on, it's producing 2.78 at the moment. And it will step through different bits of information as you tap it. It has a wireless output here, and we'll see how that works in a minute, but it does mean that we don't have to come out to the garage where this is located to find out how much it's producing at any particular time. It's all of course wired into the house wiring and is grid tied. It's wired, wired into the grid and works in conjunction with the electricity supply. It's not an independent supply as it is possible to get where excess is stored in batteries. That's not really suitable for our needs. In conjunction with the photovoltaic panels, we needed to have a new meter. This is called an import-export meter. So it measures what we use from the grid, but also how much we're supplying to the grid if we are producing more than we actually need for our current needs at a particular time. Of course, we're not paid the same amount. We're paid approximately one third for each unit we sell back to the electricity company, Contact Energy in our case, compared with what we pay for a unit. Up here we have a display which alternates between different amounts of information, what you're using, what you're sending back to the grid and so on. Whether you're importing or exporting overall is shown by a little arrow here. This arrow has the arrowhead on its right. That means we're importing electricity at this point in time. If it was pointed the other way, we'd be exporting. The reason we're importing at the moment is because we have the air conditioner on and I think the dishwasher on, so they use quite a lot combined. I've turned the air conditioner off, so hopefully you can see there that the arrow is now pointing to the left. That means we're exporting the electricity to the grid. So now we can see the benefits of it having a wireless uh, transmission from it, giving data about it. I've bookmarked it, so I can just go to the Anna Solar inverter. Enna Solar is a New Zealand brand of uh, inverter. Takes a moment to come up, but there it shows us that at the moment we're producing 3.07 kilowatts, which is over three quarters of its maximum capacity. And this is today's output. It's been quite a sunny day today, so got quite a good output. That of course is overnight. There's no not enough light overnight even when there's a moon out to produce any. And this shows us the total amount produced each day for the last week. There are some more charts uh, you can bring up. 
Now the cost of the system, including the panels and the inverter, uh, since we took it from savings as we retired, we would have lost, I reckon, about 45 Kiwi dollars a month in interest on that amount. That's after tax. So you have to pay tax on the interest. Interest rates aren't that high and we're hoping to save uh, sort of two to three times that in our electricity bill, uh, probably on average. Uh, time will tell whether that happens. The sun's just gone in at the moment. I can tell through the window that it's slightly darker, so it's just dropped to just below three uh, kilowatts production. Uh, 45 Kiwi dollars is about uh, 22, 23 British pounds, about uh, late 30s US, US, something like that. So whether it's financially going to be a help is uh, yet to be determined. But of course electricity prices, since they're, they've been rising steadily in, in New Zealand, certainly. And so... Uh, that was one of the factors which uh, encouraged us to give this a try.